And there they go. Welcome back to RaceNews.com. I'm Magic. We're taking a closer look at Fairgrounds Oaks on Saturday, March 26th, race 11 on the card. And with me to talk about this key Kentucky Oaks prep is Dr. Miranda Bungie. Dr. Miranda, this is only six horses in this field, and one of them a very heavy favorite here in Echo Zulu. Walk us through the field and let us know how do you play this race. All right, so we start with the return that we've all been waiting for since November, and that is the number one, Echo Zulu. She is in the favorite in this race, and rightfully so. She has a perfect record, three for three. She's won three grade one races, uh, stake races, and most recently won the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies. Now, she's been off since then, which is almost five months, which is concerning a whole lot of people. But honestly, we didn't see Malathat for four months last year, and she came back in the Ashland which is actually two months after this race, and she had no issue at all. And I expect the same for her. In my opinion, if she wins this race, she's the best of the best with the Phillies, and I think she's going to win the Oaks. Everyone is on top of Secret Oath, but I still don't think she's as good as everybody says. We'll see in a few weeks when she races again, because she's racing the boys, I think, in a few weeks, correct? Yep, at the Arkansas Derby. Yeah, we'll see. I don't think she's going to do well, but we'll find out. Um, The number two is Turner Loose who was not even on my radar last time out in the Rachel Alexander, which is my fault. Uh, dang you, Brad Cox and Flo. Maybe they felt bad for winning my pick five last year with travel column. Anywho, this is a turf horse who made her debut on dirt and won pretty easily by stalking the pace. I was nervous the distance was going to be an issue with some of those horses, and that was kind of an issue. The race did not come back with the best buyers. She only received an 81 and it was a pretty slow pace, so she had no issue stalking. This time, it's going to be a whole different story with the pure speed to her inside. The number three is Favor for Todd Fletcher, who's been doing great in Florida, winning back-to-back races in Maiden Company and Optional Claimers. And she seems very versatile, not having to have the lead. And she probably is not going to get the lead in this race. Another thing that makes me question is the fact that she has never raced this far And if you listen to any of my shows, I hate when Phillies have not raced as far. It's just a big question mark for me because you never know how it's going to impact the Phillies. Um, She is from Pioneer of the Nile, which is the same sire as American Pharaoh. So she definitely has the breeding to do well. But she's a big question mark. Um, And she doesn't have the stakes races in her back pocket like a lot of these other horses do. Um, But one random fact about this horse is last night I was handicapping this and I had my daughter next to me and she's like she's learning her hand eye coordination kind of and she picked this horse on paper to win. So who knows, maybe a long shot will come through and this horse will win. Um, The number four is Berna Breezy for Matt Shire and James Graham. She broke her maiden in December and went up to an ungraded stakes, got third and they put her an optional claimer. She won pretty easily. The buyer wasn't the best, and she was also beat by Sequist by Fave Links, who's in this race, so there's something. Um, the number five is Sequist, who has faced Echo Zulu and didn't even come close. She faced Vernon Breezer last race, didn't come close to her. So even though I loved Will's secret last year for Dallas Stewart, um, I don't love this horse, and I don't think she has a chance at all. The number six is Hidden Connection, who most recently did terrible in the Rachel Alexandra But I didn't like that race at all for her. She was coming off a three-month layoff after the Breeders' Cup, and I just don't think she was quite ready for that spot. This is second off the layoff, and I expect her to be more primed and ready. Um, She faced the favorite in here and didn't come close, but she did have a bobbled start. So in the case that Echo Zoo isn't cranked up like she should be, this horse could be a little sneaky from the outside. So my top pick is none other than Echo Zulu. If she's ready for the spot, nobody's going to be touching her at all. Um, In the case that she's not ready, I'm going to go with an upset with Hidden Connection and do a 1-3-6 trifecta and exacta boxed. If you want some more information on fairgrounds, the entire 12 race card is covered in depth in the Inside Track to the Louisiana Derby Wagering Guide. Available now at RacingDudes.com. If you're a premium subscriber to any of the picks or products that we have at RacingDudes.com, you get the guide included for free, so make sure you check out that option as well. She's Dr. Miranda Bungie. This was the Fairgrounds Oaks. We'll see you over at RacingDudes.com and at YouTube.com slash RacingDudes for full coverage of the Kentucky Oaks and Kentucky Derby Trails, and we'll see you at the track. Get the all-inclusive inside track of the 2022 Louisiana Derby Wagering Guide featuring in-depth analysis of every single stakes on the fairgrounds card, including the $1 million Louisiana Derby, a major prep race for the Kentucky Derby. Win here and you are in. 
Plus, get race-by-race analysis, betting suggestions, and multi-race plays for the entire card. All wagering guides are included with any monthly subscription to premium picks from the experts at RacingDudes.com. Learn more at RacingDudes.com and remember, never play a big day without visiting the Racing Dudes first.